Start recording, start recording. Cause this is beautiful, Zenik. Oh shoot. Don't know if this is gonna make it into the episode, but I'm gonna watch this with Zenik. Let's just do the start screen. Oh wait. Just wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fun fact, it says Microsoft in the original edition, it had the Nintendo 64 logo on it. Yeah, because it was on the N64. And then Microsoft bought out Rare. Mumbo plays like everything. Who's Mumbo? Him. Wow. This is classic. This is classic. It's beautiful, man. I love banjos. Okay, we should start right here on the title screen. Oh, we already kind of started. Okay, well, officially, welcome yeah. to ZG Games. We are playing Banjo Kazooie, finally getting away from Metal Gear. My one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite game of all time. Really? Yeah. That's a strong statement. It is a strong statement. I played lots of video games in my days. Why do you love this game? I just love it, man. It's just so. It's not really a very hard game because I'm kind of a person that rages at games kind of easily. Well. We all know I rage. Yeah, you rage too. But this is a very kind of easy game, except until you get to the last levels. You'll see me rage when it's the last two Okay, you're gonna press start? But yeah, we're gonna press start. We're gonna press play game. Okay, so game one, I played for 10 hours, and I have 91, I have 90 jiggies. That's, I don't know what that means. Um, I played the game for 10 hours, and it, that's a lot wow. for Bandit okay. Played it wide. This is... Um, game two is empty. Yeah, this is my. I started a let's play of this over at uh, Box Other Gaming. You play your Xbox One? No, played it on White's Xbox One. Oh. Okay. Started a game. Yeah, started. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever finish that. Started up. Holy shit! If you want to finish that, anyway. Game two empty. Here we go. We all get it. You and Wyatt are friends. I'm just very excited for this game. Do they make it HD at all? Or? Um, this is so basically the rare replay version is just the Xbox 360 remade version. It's just that. It's just the Xbox 360 version. So this is basically rare replay is kind of like a remake. In this case, of a remake, but they didn't really remake it. It's just the remake in a collection edition. Yeah. So this is the Xbox 360 remake. The original game was on the N64, of course. This is Grunty. She rhymes with everything she says. Really? Yeah. Wait until she talks more. That's the paw talking. By the way. What do you what mean? Do you mean? This, this cannot be. be. There's, There's no, no one prettier, prettier than, than me. me. Oh my god. Yeah. Why it's Tootie. The prettiest girl of all. No, no. You She's must hot! Be, you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Oh, just wait and tell. There's actually a really hot person in this game. How come to be a hot person in this game? You'll see. Are, are her boobs like triangles? Cone? She's got those cone boobs. <laughs> that was the well, theme. Well, we'll see about that. That was the theme back in the early 3, 3D days. Oh, yeah, man. Final Fantasy VII, Tifa. <laughs> This intro. There's my favorite character in this whole game. Look at him. I'm listening to him talk. <laughs> my big laser brother wakes up. We're going on an adventure. Oh, I guessed it. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't sound like that. She's really high pitched. Well, I get. I just guess because. Southern girls are hot. 
<laughs> there is Banjo. And there's Kazooie. You know what's really attractive to me? What? Girls that can sing. Interesting. Like, I heard Adele sing, and I thought she must be a model. <laughs> she wasn't. Is that your brother? But like, you know this, you know, um, what's your face? Haley Williams, I think? She's a singer of Paramore. Mm -hmm. And I think she's attractive just because of her voice. Okay, so, plot. There's plot to this game? Yeah. Tootie has just been kidnapped by Grunty. Because you were talking, but we missed the whole opening. I, I um, play the beginning of this. I know, because she's pretty, and the witch is ugly, and she wants her looks, so she's still in her looks. Yes. And she's still in her. What do you want, Kazooie? <laughs> oh. Here we go. We're going. I'm playing now, ladies and gentlemen. This is Banjo Kazooie. You can't do anything, can you? No. This is what I played. I played this in the beginning. And then. His name is Bottles. My friend um, wanted his game back. I was borrowing it from him and he wanted it back, so I gave it to him. Because I'm a nice friend. Basically, Boz is gonna tell us who told who took her who took her. Blah 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 blah. To her mountain lair, it's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some drain. Bottles is the person that trains us throughout the game. Okay. Um, basically, A, if I want to do a tutorial, B, if I don't. I have played this game twice, all, pretty much all the way through in like the last month, so I'm gonna... You finished it all in 10 hours? No, I'm on like the last one. I said pretty much all the way through. Oh, okay. So yeah, I... So, I just basically skipped the tutorial, but that doesn't mean that we're done here. I need to travel... Throughout Spiral Mountain. This looks better. I mean, like, it's not a total HD remake. Yeah. But it just looks like the, the colors are brighter and everything. It just, it just looks better. So each one of these levels is here to teach you something. Each one of these little areas of Spiral Mountain is here to teach you something. But I skipped the tutorial, so I won't. But there's still honeycomb pieces that I can get for completing the tutorial. The little tutorial challenges things and honeycomb pieces are useful and we'll, what do they do? we'll find out later. You don't know why they're useful right now. I do know why they're useful. But what we'll are they useful out. for? What are they useful for? You'll find out, Zenic. I just love the overall feel of this entire game. It's, it's it's a nice feel. The noises, the music, just in the background, just like little banjo playing. Yeah. And there's a really cool music effect in the game that we'll find out as we go throughout the world. Is um, that it's I was this... talking to my friend Jackson, and he loves the characters, like the char the character. Yeah. Like how the characters look in the game. Like the basically, the characters ex are basically like every character you meet <coughs> in the game is either like an item or a or like a piece of food and they all have eyes and they can all talk which I think is a great thing like like you collect like keys or something throughout the game mm -hmm. and they can talk they talk to you and have eyes so it's like everything can talk and yeah so like every character you made throughout the game like none of them are human they're all like just items except for the witch yeah, the witch is like the only human throughout the game, I guess. If you call her human, I don't know what she is. She's a witch. Dude, speaking of witches, in class, uh -huh. we're reading about Hang on. the Salem witch trials. We're gonna find out what the home honeycomb people do. Oh, uh, they give you more health? Got extra life, baby. How many extra life can you get? Um, I don't know. 
There's like a, there's like two honey and pump pieces in like every world. Oh, wow. Yeah. Anyway, I got everything I need, so we're gonna head through to oh, the. Yeah, I was talking about the yeah the Salem witch trials. Have you ever heard of that? I have. Dude, that's crazy. It's where stuff. the whole like witch myths kind of happened. Yeah. So we're watching the. Cru we're, I meant we're like reading the Crucible. Uh huh. You heard that? Yeah. You probably have, because your brother's in the plays, isn't he? Yeah. So... So... Wait, I gotta see what he says. Oh. Yeah, he's basically just saying... Anyway, Gruntilda's lair is basically the overworld of this game. It's creepy. Yeah. Well, it's crazy stuff, dude. Mm -hmm. Um... It's just like back then. You could basically say anything and get yeah. away with it. Like, she's a witch. She's a witch. Okay. And they, and they just hang her. Yeah. There's some something else about that. Um, I'm in AP World History, so I'm looking at all kinds of history. Ancient China. There were dynasties with groups of families that ruled, and a common way that people would overthrow the other ones was claim the mandate of heaven, and that's basically saying that God doesn't want you to be emperor anymore, and he wants me to be emperor. And then all the people in, like, the kingdom would say, okay, and then they'd become the new emperor. They probably get nothing done. China was, like, the most successful... It's the longest-lasting empire. Like, that's still alive today. Like, like Rome lasted Wait, a Wait, it was China that did it? You said China? Yeah. Well, See, like, when did they change that... How do, when do they change the um, ruling behind that? That anybody could just be emperor. If you to. Well, obviously when people got when people got smarter, because yeah. back then people were a lot more religious than they are now. Yeah. But yeah, I just got a jiggy. It was I wouldn't say more religious. Well, maybe they were more religious back then. They were. Everything yeah. was religious. That's how they. That's what they used to explain lots of Everything. events. Yeah, like God has done this. Yeah, like the a reason lot of it's raining. people blame the black plague on God, didn't they? Yeah. Because they were punishing the pe people uh -huh. or whatever. Yeah. Nowadays, it's like scientific. Yeah. But yeah, if you saw that, the Jiggy was talking to me. Yeah, see, like, listen to this music. Do you hear the music? Yeah. So the music's playing, okay? It's the same music, but when you enter an area. It changes like different instruments, and that's the thing I love about the game. In the overworld, it's the same music, but depending on where you are. Why is it using wind? It's like using more like. It's like the theme, like um. In there's like a snowy world, kind of a Christmas theme world, and it uses lots of like bells yeah. and stuff. Gives it like kind of like a Christmassy like theme to the music. This is all just about theme. Yeah, yeah, man, and it's beautiful. That's what carries it. Yeah, man. And it's also, lots of people like criticize it because all you do in this game is collect things. Okay, that's this game is a collectathon, but it's like the journey you take and you get new moves throughout it, and it's just it's just a really like enticing game. I've never ever heard of anybody ever bagging on this game. I know because it's, it's pretty much everybody likes this game. Yeah, lots of people love this game. So anyway, I know my way through Mumble Mumble pretty well. I know where lots of things. Ecom Tolkum. That's what I always say. Yeah, these are Jinjos. Jinjos? Jinjos. You know the name of all of them? Yes. The, there's five Jinjos in every level. There's a purple one, a blue one, a green one, an orange one, and a yellow one. Do you lose all your notes when you die? No. What's the one you lose when you die? I don't know. Maybe you lose all your notes if you game over, but I don't think you do. If you die, you have to get them again. Maybe that's in the- I think the N64 had that, but this game's kind of a lot more forgiving. Because, like, the Xbox one, you can, like, kind of save whenever. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it might- they have, like, more practical things now. Like... Like, if you would- the only way to save the game before would to be, like, would to quit the game. If you saved it, hey, we automatically hey, hey, hey. quit the game. Should we call it an episode? Uh, sure, we can call it an episode. Next time... I will most likely beat Momo's Mountain. 
see you guys then. Yeah.